Hi, this is Marlum's Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to create this autism puzzle piece on your Rainbow Loom. Today's tutorial is very special to me, and I'm sure it will be very special to many people out there. As most of you know, April is Autism Awareness Month, and many families are affected every year. Every day, a child, a new family, is given the news that their child has been diagnosed with autism. And it is very personal to me because I also have family members with autism as well. And I created this puzzle piece in honor of my family and all the families out there. So this is for everyone out there. And for today, you're going to need um, to use the colors that represent the puzzle piece. And I'm using yellow, light blue, dark blue, and red. And what I did was, I will tell you how many you need of each color, but I just took a bunch and I put them in the containers. For, um, for the red, you're going to need 33 red, give or take with capping bands. For the dark blue, you're going to need 28. For the light blue, you're going to need 39. And for yellow, you will need about 47 to 48 um, bands. So let's get started on making this piece that will hopefully make somebody happy out there. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making the outer pieces. And what I did here is I grabbed a piece of paper and I drew a puzzle piece. I'm not a professional, so it looks funny. But the point of to do this is that once I make the little sections, I'm going to tell you to put it on your puzzle piece and that way when it's time to make it, you can just grab it and then it's in order. And if you want to label, say this one, you can do top left. So you can write top left and then you would say bottom left. This one would be top right, bottom right, and then, you know, this top and this bottom. It's just pretty obvious. You can do that if you don't, if it's easy enough for you to follow without doing that, that's fine. But this will just keep you organized. So let's get started making these little pieces. I'm going to begin by making the top left right now. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be needing every color. So just make sure you have all the colors available. And this is how I did it. I think I showed you before. I have them in jars. And you're going to grab double yellow bands. And you're going to place it from here to here. And then you're going to take two more yellow bands and place it down. Switch to light blue and place it here. Back to your yellows and go down two times in the middle. And then on this side, you're going to take reds and place two reds from here to here and then another two from here to here and then finish that off with two yellow like that and now we're going to place capping bands and a triangle band so you're going to take the color that matches this band and wrap it around three times and the same here wrap that around three times and this one will be blue and wrap that around three times. Now I'm going to place a triangle band and we're going to use yellow. And you're going to grab two yellow bands like that and you're going to place it from here to here like that. And now this piece is complete and all we have to do is loop it. But what I'm going to do with you instead is I'm going to make now the bottom left. So this is the top left and then I'm making the bottom left. So grab dark blue and you're going to place your dark blue, two bands from here, two bands going this way, Two there, two in the middle, 
two here. Another set of dark blue here. And then we're switching to our light blue. I'm placing two here and two here. And I will show you how that looks so far. That's what it looks like. And now you're going to match the color of that band. So you take that blue and wrap a single around three times. And the same here. And on here it would be dark blue. And you're only wrapping that band around three times. And now we're going to be placing two dark blue bands. Two bands from here to here. And that's your triangle. And so now we have completed the top left and the bottom left. And we're going to loop them. So what you're going to do is take your hook and push back the capping. Bring, back, bring those bottom two bands forward. Same here. Bring those bottom bands forward and these forward. This is the triangle bands. You're going to make sure you push those back. Grab the bottom blue bands, bring them forward. Bring these forward. Again, make sure you're pushing the triangle bands back. Bring those two bands forward. Then when reaching in here, bring this to the middle and bring this to the middle. And now we're going to take our hook and we're going to grab a single blue band, dark blue, and we're going to pull that through and make the slip knot. And if your band snaps, you can just repeat that. And then you can remove this piece Just adjust it, pull on the capping, the bands that we wrapped around three times, stretch it a little bit. And then this band, what we do with every piece we're going to make, we're just going to hide it in the back. You're just going to keep, excuse my washing machine, keep hiding that in the back through some bands until it's, you know, out of sight. And now what we did was, this is the bottom um, left, and that would go right here, and looks just like this piece that's right here. And that's why I said to get the paper, because it kind of makes it a little bit easier. So now let's loop the top left. The same way, we're going to reach in under the capping, bring the light blue forward. Reach in under the capping, bring the two yellow forward. The same here. Make sure with this double triangle band that you push that back. Grab the double yellow and pull that forward. The same here. Push back the triangle. Grab the double red. Bring that forward. Bring these to the middle and these to the middle. Take your hook, push it through. And you're going to use the yellow band to create that slip knot. Bring it to the top and pull. And then you can remove this. And the same thing, you're going to pull on the capping bands, take this yellow piece and hide it in the back. Take the yellow and the back, I'll show you the difference. The yellow should be faced, the red should be facing up. So that yellow band needs to be hidden behind that. And then you just continue to hide that yellow band in the back and now we have completed the top and the bottom and it looks like this and now we're going to do the right side and then we'll be 
we'll get working on the middle. So let's start with the top right. You're going to grab two dark blue bands and place it on those two pegs and then two more dark blue. Place it down and then two yellows and place it here. So we did dark, dark, and yellow. For the middle, you're going to do double red followed by two light blues. And then for this row, you're going to do double red again from here to here, like that. Another double red. And then a light blue. And then we are going to grab the color that matches the bands on the bottom and take a single again, wrap it around three. The same for this one, only three times. And then for the yellow as well, three times. And then for the capping, you're going to take, I mean the triangle, you're going to take two white blues and place it from here to here. And now that is the top right. So we're going to do the bottom right. So let's get light blue bands and place it. Make sure you don't connect them. I'm just using two random pegs. Make sure it's you're using, you know, from that it's a, a triangle. Um, two more light blue. So this is what I did. Light blue, light blue, and light blue again going down. So that's that row. Then the middle row, you're going to go down twice with red. So you can grab double red bands and go down two times. And then for the, the um, right side, you're going to grab dark blues. another two dark blues and then finish that off with double red and now we're going to place the capping so we need two reds and one light blue take the single red wrap it around three again same thing here and same thing here and then we're going to use double red bands two red bands and we're going to place it from here to here and then we can loop these we're done with this part remember to push back the capping bands and loop it forward the same here make sure that when you get to this part you're pushing the triangle band away Same here, push back that red double band and grab the bottom blue. Bring these to the middle. Actually, you know what, I'm sorry. Bring the middle up first. Then, then bring, loop the middle first and then bring the light blue and then the dark blue. So it should look like that. Then you're going to grab your hook, push it through all those bands and you're going to use the single dark blue band and pull it through create that slip knot pull it up and that one's looped now we're going to do the same here push back the yellow bands loop forward same here loop forward Push back the blue, the light blue, and grab the bottom dark. Grab the middle red bands. Again, push back the light blue, grab the red bands. And then we're looping, once you've looped that forward, take this one and bring it to the middle. And then this one. 
and bring that to the middle. And then we're taking our, we're gonna take a single dark blue band again. You can use red or blue, it doesn't matter. It gets hidden in the back anyway. And you're going to pull. And now these are going to get removed. Again, push on that capping band that we wrapped around three times. Adjust it a little bit. Same on this one, pull on the little capping bands. And you're going to take your front of this piece, which is your top right, should have the red facing the left. I mean, the, um, the red should be facing to the right. If it's facing this way, it's wrong. So this is what your, your piece should look like. And then you take this blue band and you're hiding it on the back. So you turn it around and you're taking that blue band and you're going to hide it in the back like that. And the same with this one. This is the front, so it should have light blue, red, two dark blues, and a red. You're going to take this blue band, and you're going to hide that in the back. And just continue to thread it through. Sorry about that. And so this is what we should have so far. We are going to have this piece, this piece, this one, and this one. And now we're going to create the top and the bottom, which is this piece and this piece, and then the middle on our loom. So let's get to that next step. And if you want to leave them on your drawing so that you're not confused, you can do that too. So let's get started with the um, top and the, part, the bottom part of your puzzle piece. You're going to use red bands, grab two red bands, and you're going to go down, doesn't matter what row you use, you're going to go down four times with red. And you're going to do that on this side as well. Same thing, four times with red. And we're switching to yellow. And you're going to go down three times. And the same on the other side. And then you're going to take two yellow bands, singles, and these were all doubles. So we went down four times with red, three with yellow, using two bands at a time. Take a single yellow, wrap it around this peg three times. And the same here, only three times. And then you're looping this. Push the capping band back and just loop forward. And the same with this one, push back the capping, grab the bottom yellow, and loop forward. Just continuing to grab the other bands and bring them to the peg above. So those are looped. And once you did that, you can take your hook and you can remove it. And you can put this to the side. You can just take it off of your hook. It shouldn't fall apart and you can just place this to the side. We're going to start the middle part of our puzzle piece now. And we're going to be grabbing yellow first. 
take your yellow band two at a time, place two there, two to the left and two to the right. In this row, we're going to go down um, one, two, three, four, five. So it should be one, two, three, four, five with yellow. And then since we're already using yellow, on this row we're going down four times. So one, this is considered one, two, three, and four. This band is no good. And then two in the middle. Now you're going to switch to light blue and you're going to go down five times in the middle. One, two, three, and they're using double bands, four, and five. And this is what it should look like. I'm going to take this one off because it's all uneven. So we went down the middle, one, two, three, four, five with light blue. This is light blue. And this is what yours should look like so far. You should have one, two, three, four yellows on this side, one, two, three, four, five yellows on this side. And now let's switch. We're still using light blue, and we're going to go down four times using light blue on this side. Okay, so we went down one, two, three, four with light blue on this row. We're going to take two sets of light blue and place it here on this one. Then we're switching to dark blue using two at a time. Go down three times. Grab two red. So you went down three with dark blue, grab two red, place it here. <coughs> two reds here. And then we're going to place two reds also. So we have two reds here, two reds here. Take double red, place it here. And then double yellow and place it here. Like that. And now we can start by placing all of the pieces. So the first piece I'm going to be placing is the top left, this one. And you're going to take your hook, and this is what your top left should look like. You should have the red on the top and a little light blue on the bottom. Take your hook and go through all three loops and place it on the first peg. And then the second one goes on the second peg. And the third goes on the third peg. Make sure you're getting them all on the pegs. Now take the bottom. It should have two light blue facing up. Take your hook. And this is the bottom um, left. And you're going to place it on this peg here. So where the yellow is, is the third one up. And you're going to place one here. And one here. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. So we're going to grab our yellow. This is our top right now and you're going to take these loops, you can even use your fingers, place one there, 
one here and one here and you know you got the right piece and facing the right way if you have red on the bottom and the blue the dark blue on the top this is the one that has like a you know bunch of colors and now and it should look like this in case you're you forgot it should have the yellow and this is what your piece should look like now we're placing this piece which is this one and this is the the, um, the bottom right and you take the loop the red loop right here place it on the bottom make sure you're grabbing all three place it on the next one and on the next one and then you're going to grab your loop that looks like a french fry and you're going to place it right here like that and then you're going to place the yellow right over that actually you know what place the yellow loop first and then so take it off place the yellow part first and then place the red over it because we want the red to show when we loop it so it should look like that and that's mine here so the red is facing up and the yellow is underneath so we place the yellow loop on first and then the red now for this one take your hook place it through all those loops and this one doesn't matter you can just put that on and then take your hook and go through these three loops and place it over like that and then you just open it and it'll look like that and now we're going to be placing multiple um, triangle bands and what we do is we take I try to match the color it's confusing because there's so many colors the inside doesn't matter so much it's more the middle part that will show as far as the middle this part doesn't matter so much but take a single dark blue wrap it around your finger twice and you're going to place it on these three so we didn't put anything on these three it's the next three and then the next one you can take a light blue wrap it around itself and place it on those three like that and then again another light blue and I try to match the color of the outside I know this one's dark but since it's mainly light blue I just stuck with light blue again double light blue and place it on those three and then again if you want to use yellow you can but this one seems to be okay again light blue doubled it over so we need a lot more light blues than I told you so I apologize I forgot about the triangle bands and then if you want to use yellow for the middle you can it doesn't matter because I don't think you get to see that part because it's inside you can use double white I mean double yellow so it's a single wrapped around itself and placed on there so you should have placed one two three four five six and seven triangle bands we did not place any on the top three or on the bottom and now what we're going to do is loop and then we're done reach into the middle this peg right here and you're going to push back all the bands the red and the yellow and you, then you're going to grab the second set of yellow bands. So you're grabbing this band right here, the one that's on this side. And you're going to bring that up. And you're going to put it on this bottom peg right here. Again, push back all the bands except for the next set of red. And bring it to this bottom peg right here. And then you can bring the middle red forward. Now we're reaching back into this peg and we're grabbing just the bottom dark two blues right there. And you're going to bring that forward. 
to the peg above. I suggest you take all of your triangle bands and push them down now. With the side of your thumbs, you can push them down. Just makes it easier to loop. Take this, go in here, and you're grabbing the bottom red right here. So you're just pushing back every band except for the two bottom red bands right there. And you're bringing that forward. And then this um, is the triangle band. Always make sure for every triangle band that you push it back when you enter the pegs. So I'm pushing back the dark blue and also the red bands that belong to this extension piece. So I'm pushing back the all these bands except for the bottom two light blue bands right here. So I grabbed the bottom two light blue and I brought that forward and yours should be light blue also. And the same here, I'm going to reach in and push back every band and then grab the two dark blue bottom bands and bring that forward. The middle's easy, you just bring the two light blue forward. Again, push all the bands back in here, every band except for the two dark blue bands, bring that forward. Here too, you're going to be pushing back this band and all these and aiming for the bottom two. So push back everything, just grab the bottom two bands and bring that forward. Bring the middle forward. Again, push this triangle band back, grab the two light blue bands, bring it forward, bring this forward, push this back, bring that forward. Always making sure that you're pushing back the triangle band and grabbing the two light yellow, I mean the two yellows, bring the middle forward. Same here, bring the light blue forward. Just basically regular looping at this point. Grabbing the light, um, the yellow, light blue. Same here, grabbing the bottom yellow bands, bring that forward. And now we're back to where the pieces are, so just be careful. And push back the blue and grab just those two yellow bottom bands and bring that forward. Bring this yellow forward in the middle. So we brought that and that up. Reach in here. You're pushing back this yellow, all these blue, and just grabbing these two. So push hard. Grab the two yellow and loop forward. The same here. This is tricky because it's all yellow, so you're pushing everything back. And then you should see the bottom two yellow. Make sure if you if you feel that sometimes you're not sure if you grabbed it, you can take your loom, turn it to the side. And as you're, loop, as you're pushing it back, you can see here's the two yellow bands that I need to grab, and then I can just grab them and loop that forward. Same here. You're going to push back all the bands except for the bottom yellow. Then this goes forward. This is chunky up here, so push it down. Grab these bottom yellow and this one. And then we're going to grab the color of your choice. You can use red, yellow. I'm going to use red again. And I'm going to cap it off with a single first. So you're going to bring it off. You're going to bring it through. And then I take my hook and I go through this loop. And I grab the bottom, this single band, and I bring it through. And then I create that slip knot and pull it up. And that way the band is tied off in the middle and not on. Um, and if you don't like that, that's red because that's showing. I think maybe I did use yellow. So, you know, I'm going to snap that off and I'm going to change that color and make it a yellow instead. You can leave it. It doesn't really matter because it probably won't even show. But I'm going to take a yellow loop it through. Again, you take your hook, go through the loop, grab that single yellow, pull it through, create the slip knot. And that's matching that part right here and you can't see it. 
And then you can take your puzzle piece off of your loom. And if you want it to stay shaped, I, you know, I just take it off um, peg by peg. is what yours should look like and just pull on them a little and here's that blue band that should be hidden and this one you can just continue to twist it until it takes its shape here's that blue band that should be hidden in the back if you want to even tie it you can tie it And what I did, and here's that um, slip knot. If you want to bring that back to the back, you can grab some bands, grab that slip knot, pull it through, and then you can just hide it. Since the back has so many yellows, you can't even tell if you continue to slide it through the back. And then just stretch it a little bit as far as this little um, hook I bought this these hooks at Joann's fabrics and they came 15 in a pack and they were I think four or five dollars I'm not sure and if you want to make it so that it goes on a backpack what I do is I grabbed two red bands and I put it through these two loops. I grab the two red bands and I pull it through. And then I make a slip knot. So now it's a slip knot. And then I take the two bands, pinch it, and put it through that hole that the hook comes with. Take my hook and separate the two, the two bands. Make sure I'm going through both bands. Oops show this an easier way. I just like the way this ends up coming out. So I just take my, sometimes I take my finger too, and then I just go th and I grab the, um, I grab this band right here, and I pull it through. And then after I've pulled it through, I then take that loop and pull it over the hook. So once it's through, take it over the hook, and then it makes that little knot like that. And then that can be your puzzle piece and you can put it on a backpack. So I hope this tutorial wasn't too difficult. And thank you so much for watching. And if you like my, um, if you create a puzzle piece, you can share it with me on my Facebook page on Marloon's Creations. And I'm also on Instagram on Marlene's Creations. I would love to see them. They're very special to me. So please tag me and show me your finished um, autism puzzle piece. And thank you so much for watching.